Well, I spoke too soon regarding the current success of my big 8mm videotape digitization task that I'm doing. I did come across a tape which has a bad recording on it. And uh, kind of interesting, it's this Sony MP150 tape. It's not labeled, but it has a Video 8 recording on it made in the late 90s. And yeah, part of this tape uh, has a pretty bad recording on it. Um, it was a fault. It, it wasn't like degradation or anything like that. It's a fault that happened during recording. Um, there was some sort of instability in the camcorder that recorded um, this tape. And either the head drum or the tape itself was moving at an inconsistent speed. And so when you play the tape, there's a few seconds that's good and then a second of a lot of noise and the sound drops out and stuff and then it's good again and then it drops for a second and then it's good again um, like that and uh, so that was unfortunate but I, I decided to try and see what I could do to recover um, the poor recording on this tape as best I could and you know this being one of the higher capacity 150 minute tapes that generally weren't recommended to use unless absolutely necessary because the tape is thinner than normal I would bet this that very well could be the reason that this tape has a bad recording on it perhaps the thinner tape got bound up in the camcorder that recorded it and that's what caused it to make an unstable recording I would almost bet that's the issue because all the tapes I've done so far that are fine, this is the first uh, high capacity tape that I've tried and it's got this issue. But I think I found a way that I can um, recover this damaged recording as best as I can. Basically the things I tried is, um, the nice thing about Sony Handycams is they have a built in time based corrector. And a time based corrector is something you find on high end um, videotape VCRs um, not even not just camcorders like this one but you'll also find them on many super VHS VCRs um, maybe even some really high-end VHS VCRs basically any high-end videotape machine um, will normally have a time base corrector and what a time base corrector is uh, how it works is um, basically the time base is the metadata that's recorded onto any videotape that's basically, you know, a continuous clock cycle. And the VCR records this clock cycle onto the tape as it's recording. And when you play it back, the VCR uses this clock cycle to know how fast to play back the tape and how fast to rotate the head drum and everything. And this clock cycle um, this time base, it's called, is also used um, to increment, you know, the the time counter on a camcorder or a VCR that has, you know, a real-time counter on it that counts every frame of the video. Um, it uses the time base to increment that counter frame by frame. And basically, if you have a tape that's recorded in a malfunctioning machine and the tape is moving at an inconsistent speed or the head drum's moving at an inconsistent speed, that time base is going to be recorded in an inconsistent fashion along the tape. Um, there's going to be places where the clock cycles are more stretched out or more compressed than they should be. And so this is basically the reason that you get a uh, an unstable signal when you play back the tape is because that time base is all messed up. Well, on a machine that has a built-in time base corrector, basically how it works is it reads the time base on the tape and it buffers. It buffers the entire video signal on the tape for, I don't know, a fraction of a second or something like that. And when it encounters a point in which the time base has an incorrect um, speed, it uses the speed of the time base it's reading to appropriately slow down or speed up the video playback so that that portion of the video has the time base running at the correct speed. The reason it does this is so it can produce a better quality um, sig uh, a better quality playback on a tape with a damaged signal. Now the nice thing about Handycams is they have a built-in time base corrector. It's turned on by default and yeah it just it wasn't doing very good. The video would blank out 
every couple of seconds and the audio would go silent every couple of seconds. So what I tried to do is sometimes, you know, you read these things on video digitization forums and stuff. Um, some people say that sometimes with some damage recordings, excuse me, damage recordings, you can improve the reproduction by turning off the time-based corrector. Now, a Sony Handycam does allow you to turn it off. It's in the menus. So I went in the menus and I turned it off. And it didn't really make any improvement. If anything, it made it slightly worse. And so I tried something else. I put this tape in this camcorder and see, saw if this camcorder played it any better. Well, it didn't. And same with the time base corrector turned off. So I'll show you right now what it actually looked like. I made a recording onto a test. DVD here. So this is what the uh, video looks like when you play it back, this damaged portion of this tape. I've got the volume turned up, but you can see there's not even any sound. There it is. So yeah, you can see it actually blanks out to the blue screen. That was the camcorder doing that. And so uh, I was sort of at a loss of what else I could try. But then I had one um, more idea where this is a video 8 recording onto this tape. I thought, ah, I have one more camcorder that I could try to play back this recording. And it might be the ticket. It was the beast. The CCD TRV66 Hi8XR from 1999. I figure, well, I can try this camcorder. This camcorder is compatible with playing back video 8 recordings. And I said, well, we can give this a try and see how it works out. This camcorder also has a built in time based corrector, which is nice. So I played back the tape in this and I got a lot better results. Turning off time based corrector didn't make any difference, so I just left it on. I made a test recording here, I'll show you, and I got a lot better results. You can see the video is no longer blanking out, and there's more audio being kept. The audio goes blank a little bit once in a while, but more was being kept, and you can hear there was a little bit of distortion there. Um, this thing apparently digitally processes the audio somehow, because what I was hearing sounds like a bit of actual digital um, distortion. So yeah, this camcorder does a lot better at uh, um, reproducing the damaged signal on that tape, so this is the answer. I'll digitize... Um, that tape using this camcorder instead of the digital 8. This one's got a, a set of composite jacks on it, so perfect. But there you go anyhow, I thought I would just uh, just show you um, this problem I encountered and how I managed to solve it. It's not going to produce a perfect reproduction, unfortunately, but uh, it is our best bet for getting the best possible um, digitization of that damaged recording. So very good.